Hi. Okay, you can't see my hand, apparently. Here it is. Hi. Um, <laughs> so, I was walking around my apartment uh, looking for pants because I told myself, uh, put some pants on. Because I took my pants off the day before yesterday and I have... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't managed to put any pants on since then. Um, just because I didn't have to. <laughs> I wasn't going outside and um, i be just been here sitting around playing video games. Computer games. Yeah, video games too. Anyway, so I went to Twitter because there are a lot of pants there. Uh, or maybe the people on Twitter have pants on. Anyway, so uh, I have been asking, like, help! <laughs> what series should I watch? Because both Dexter and Terra Nova and uh, Game of Thrones are having a break right now, so I can't see the... I can't get new episodes. Damn you! Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I was like, what should I be watching now? And so I asked Twitter and then this guy asked, what kind of series do you like to watch? And I was like, serious ones. And numbers are not a serious series because they spell numbers with a three. And they, they do stuff that isn't possible. You know, you can't... Like in the first episode or something, uh, he, the guy takes a. It, it really is a random pattern, um, and he he and he um, he compares it to um, one of those things that waters your lawn. And says that based on where the drops land, you can actually um, decide where the contra contraption that what is still on is. Now, the thing about that is that you can't, um, because you also need to know the angle for the drops. And if you have the angle, then you only need one drop, because you have where it landed and the angle and then you can decide where, where this contraption is but he just takes uh, into account where the drops land and you have no idea how far they've traveled and um, what well it's just silly you can't do that you can you can like okay so most of the drops are gonna land here but you can't actually figure out where they came from if you don't have the angle and <laughs> what it compares this to is a pattern of um, I think it was crime scenes or something like that and yeah and if, then he, he figures out where the killer actually located it's just silly <laughs> you know and the whole series is like that it doesn't get any better at least for like the three episodes I watched before I said this is stupid and turn it off so um, maybe that's silly because it claims to do something that it doesn't uh, so I don't like that series <laughs> Uh, but what series do I like? As I said, I do like uh, Dexter because he kills people. And I like Terra Nova because it's like Jurassic Park, really. It's dinosaurs and sci-fi too and silly people running around in circles doing stupid stuff. And the main reason I like that is... Well, I do like the Jurassic Park thing, but I I appreciate <laughs> that the story is so silly and, uh, well, Ill bad researched, I, I feel, so that it feels like I could have written that and that gives me 
a lot of self self team. I'm like, I can't figure out uh, what's going to happen and why they did that, and I can I can recognize a lot of like story things they used. Um, so I th <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like looking down on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, yeah, and then Game of Thrones because it's just awesome and it's a lot of politics and stabbing people in the back and people actually die. People, do you think this is a, a, an immortal person because it's a, one of the main characters and then they die? <laughs> I like that, um, but. Yeah, so then I realized I have a lot of bones to watch. Uh, right now I'm re-watching season 4 because I have no idea where I was and it's hard to keep track of all the social things that goes on in the background. And you can't just skip through the episodes watching, uh, oh, this is that crime, so I know that this is the episode where Bones said that silly thing to, to Booth and so on. So <laughs> I really feel that I need to rewatch it. So I'm kind of busy now, but it might be nice to have another series to mix it up with. And yeah. I really originally like Bones because she doesn't have a clue. She's so smart, but it's, she doesn't have a clue. She's always saying in the f first season or something, she's always saying, yeah, I don't know that, what that means whenever someone talks about some social thing. So that's what I like about her. Um. But then all these social things got in the way, and now I'm like curious to see uh, if this is one of the series where the two main characters actually do end up together, and then if they do, <laughs> the series will probably end up silly. Because. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another. <laughs> It's really uh, common. Why is it that so many series have two main characters? Uh, it doesn't have to be the only two main characters, but sometimes uh, like it feels like they're the queen and the king and everyone else is just side characters. And they are so obviously in love and they can't... Um, and they can't admit it to themselves even and so they go around doing stupid things and hurting each other and making the relationship way complicated before it even started and everyone is like are they going to get it together or are they going to end up together are they going to make it sometimes <laughs> when that happens I just get very tired and think it's stupid. But then you end up keep watching because you're really curious if they are going to end up together. The first couple that I remember that was like that was uh, in the X-Files. Um, only it, it was not like that at all. Uh, they were just yes, partners and really good friends and everyone just wanted them to get together because they were the two like famous people that everyone wanted and then I feel like every other series like picked up on that and just I'm not sure this was a good thing or a bad thing it's just a thing that happened and yeah so anyways uh what's your favorite series tell me and i might not watch it <laughs> bye